Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May the 20th of 2021. Well, it is titled M13, the great globular cluster in Hercules. So what do we see here? Well, this is what is known as M13 and is a great globular cluster. So a containing um, many 100,000 100, stars or so and very compact close together. So we see these as the ancient remnants of our galaxy, some of the very earliest parts of our galaxy and dating back to our galaxy's origin over 10 billion years ago. Globular clusters are very old clusters and they have essentially just formed stars long ago and are just going through their lives right now with the stars that have already formed. So unlike when we look at spiral galaxies where we see constant signs of star formation, we do not see the gas and dust that we associate with those within a globular cluster. The stars are also a clustered much closer together and grouped to closer together so that if you were to take a cube about three light years on the side which is uh, smaller than the distance between the Earth and the next nearest star Alpha Centauri that you would have over a hundred stars within that cube so a hundred stars within three light years of us meaning that there would be far more stars visible to you if you lived within the globular cluster you would be seeing a lot more and relatively brighter stars because they would appear so close. So your sky, unlike our sky with scattered bright stars around, would have far more bright stars uh, and more stars overall uh, easily visible within it. Now as we look at out at this gal at this uh, globular cluster, it is one of the ways that we study uh, and learn about the evolution of stars. Because the stars in a cluster all formed at the same time from the same material, we can use that as a way of fixing some of the variables in star formation. So when we like to do an experiment, we try to fix it so that there is only one variable and that allows us to then study uh, a property. And in this case, the one variable is mass. How much mass did each star form with? And that allows us to remove those other properties uh, fr from this that all these stars formed at roughly the same time and from material with roughly the same composition. So we can study the effects of mass on the evolution of stars. And by looking at various clusters, we have been able to piece together a picture of how stars evolve over time and something that we could never learn by watching individual stars because the process takes far too long for us to ever be able to actually follow one star from birth to death as that for even the shortest lived stars could take millions of years. So here we can use this in a way as a laboratory for astronomy for being able to study stars and how they go through their lives. So that was our picture of the day for May the 20th of 2021. It was titled M13, the Great Globular Cluster in Hercules. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.